I am Anita of My Duke and I podcast and wherever you are in the world, I hope that you're having the most splendid day. And if you're seeing this show for the very first time, be sure to subscribe, like, and share and hit that notification bell. So when an episode comes out, you'll be the first to know. Also too, wherever you get up into the video, please hit the like button because it really helps the channel. Okay, so let's dive into two clips that were released today where Prince Harry opened up in the ITV documentary, Tabloids on Trial. He talked about his ongoing battle with the tabloid press and how it's caused a big riff in the royal family. Hmm. So, Prince Harry has been speaking out against what he sees as unethical and illegal practices by tabloids like phone hacking and intrusive reporting. This is quite different from how other royals, especially his brother, Prince William, have handled things. William reportedly settled privately look at that such a coward with news group newspapers in 2020 for harry this fight isn't just personal he sees it as a matter of principle and public duty so in an interview clip harry was asked how his determination to take on the tabloids has impacted his relationship with his family and he admitted it's a big part of why they're not getting along. He also expressed frustration that anytime he talks about his family, he gets slammed by the press. And still he's determined to hold this, to hold these media outlets accountable. Let us take a listen. To what extent do you think that your determination to fight the tabloids destroyed the relationship with your family? I think there's, uh, yeah, I, I, that's, that's a, a, certainly a central piece to it. Um, but, you know, they, it's a, it's a hard question to answer because anything I say about my family results in a torrent of abuse from the press. I, I've, I've made it very clear that this is something that needs to be done. It would be nice if we you know, did it as a family. I, I believe that, again, from a service standpoint and when you're in a public role that these are the things that we should be doing um, for the greater good but you know I'm, I'm doing this I'm doing this for my reasons. What yeah. do you think of their decision not to fight in the way that you have? I, th I think everything that's played out has, has, has shown people um, what the truth of the matter is. For me the mission continues but it has it has yes it, it's caused as you say part of a rift. I don't know if you guys recall, but in Harry and Meghan's docu-series, they did discuss how his brother's office offered up negative stories of him and his wife Meghan to deflect negative stories about them, meaning William and Kate. They literally offered Harry and Meghan to the wolves, as Meghan put it. And that certainly angered Harry because, as he said, it was promise between him and his brother. They made that promise that they would never, ever use the press, you know, to attack each other. And that has created the rift between them. So anybody who is denying what Harry is saying, they need to go back and revisit Harry and Meghan's docu-series to see how that really, really was disturbing to Harry that his own brother would use him as a pawn to put out stories about them so that negative things would not be written about him and Kate. Isn't that something? William is so negative and underhanded, literally. And at some point, I believe there were even times when stories were sold to the press about Harry and Meghan from people who worked directly for William and Kate at their office. So 
for those people who think that Harry is delusional or making up stories, they need to revisit the Harry and Meghan's docuseries. So Harry's issue with the tabloids aren't new. And in 2020, he and his wife, Meghan, they stepped back from royal duties and decided to cut ties with certain UK tabloids, accusing them of causing a lot of harm to the young family. Literally, they were just coming up, coming up. And here they had to deal not only with the challenges of, you know, being on the public stage, but dealing with the, this negative press about them day in and day out. Okay. So, um, Harry and Meghan, you know, said that they were causing a lot of harm to them, which is true. Literally true. It's just like, you know, Meghan talked about the, the stress and Harry did talk about, you know, the type of writing that was out there about his wife. At some point, he even had to put out a press, um, you know, and he about the abuse that Megan was taking from the from the British press. So Megan in particular felt she wasn't allowed to speak up against false stories about her her time during, you know, the time that she was in the royal family because, you know, they have this motto going on, never, uh, never complain, never explain, even when it's at your detriment. It's really ridiculous. And thank God Harry is speaking up. So right now, uh, Prince Harry is involved in uh, two civil cases against, you know, publishers of the Mail and the Sun. He's accusing them of unlawful information gathering. So a recent court ruling confirmed that he was a victim of phone hacking, which he sees as a huge win. So he was victorious, and that's where he was awarded 140 um, thousand pounds and. You know, he, and then eventually he settled and for another substantial amount of money again, um, because there were several parts, um, you know, to that case. So this fight is very personal for Harry, not just because of how it affected him, but also because of his late mother, Princess Diana. And he mentioned that Diana was one of the first to be targeted by such invasive practices and even now the media often unfairly paints her as paranoid the hacking that i've spoken to have described the paranoia that it creates do you identify with that i think paranoia is a, it's a very interesting <laughs> word because yes then it could be paranoia but then when you're vindicated it it, it proves that you weren't being paranoid you know same same with my mother you know, there is evidence to suggest that she was being hacked in the mid 90s, probably one of the first people to be hacked. And yet still today, the press, the tabloid press, very much enjoy painting her as being paranoid. Um, but she wasn't paranoid. Um, she was absolutely right of what was happening to her. To her. And she's not around today to, to find out the truth. Does your mother motivate you in this legal yeah, fight? For, yeah. Um, the, there's all sorts of things that motivate me. And even William himself agreed with the media in saying that his mother was paranoid. Unlike William, Harry believes it was a it was the intrusion of the press that made her feel the way that she felt because she was being spied on, literally. Yeah? Let's watch a short clip of the bombshell video of Diana. Do you really believe that a campaign was being waged against you? Yes, I did, absolutely. Yeah. Why? Mm, I was a separated wife of the Prince of Wales. I was a problem, full stop. Never happened before. What do we do with her? Can't we pack her off to somewhere quietly rather than campaign against mm, her? She won't go quietly. That's the problem. I'll fight till the end because I believe that I have a role to fulfill and I've got two children to bring up you can obviously see how stressed she was by what was happening to her and her relationship with the British royal family and uh, 
that is his mother. That is Harry's mother. And I think he, he's not only fighting for himself, but he's also fighting for his mother as well. And also to what Megan experienced in the royal family and experienced with the press as well. So this isn't just about Harry's fight with the tabloids. It's about bigger issues like privacy, truth, and justice. And as Prince Harry continues this battle, he hopes to make a difference, not just for himself, but for others who have been wrong, like his mom, right? So his journey is a reminder of the importance of standing up for one's right and the truth and making people accountable for their actions. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video because it really helps the channel and subscribe. See you on the next video. Love each and every one of you guys. Bye.